Okay, so I'm going to show you how I go about doing my nail stamping art because a lot of you asked me about this and a lot of you at the moment are struggling to get to nail salons. Well, obviously you can't go to nail salons, so you're trying to do them from home. So, And you've probably got a bit of time on your hands, so you could do what I do when I actually have a bit of spare time, which is do some lovely nail art with some stamps. So um, for those of you who always ask me, I thought now was a good time to tell you, I use the Moyu stamps, um, which come like this. It's like a little silver plate. And it can be a little bit tricky, um, but once you've got the knack, it's actually quite straightforward. So I'm going to do mine really quickly to show you. If you can see, I've already put like gold on top of my peppermint colour nails there. And I'm going for like a really cool tutti fruity colourway today. Sounds good in a Welsh accent, that, doesn't it? Tutti fruity. And um, right, so basically what you get with a MoU is you get like a little rubber stamp, you get a scraper, and then you get your nail varnishes. And the trick I've learned is to make sure your nail varnishes are like super... Like runny, if you've had them a while and they got clogged up, that's when they just don't work and the transfer doesn't happen, okay? So I'm just going to go with the gold one here for a sec. So I'm going to wipe this with a bit of your acetone first, make sure it's clean. Then the trick is to do it really swiftly. So as soon as I've got that on, good coating, scrape really quick, don't scrape too hard. Then pick up with a stamp again, don't press too hard. Can you see I've got it on there? fab and then i'm just going to line it up with my nail and i'm putting this on the orange now so it's not going to stand out loads but i want it to be quite subtle there we go and as you'll probably see just turn my nails that way okay i've got my lovely subtle patterns on here i'll take a proper picture later because the light is a bit bright at the minute but yeah that's how quick and easy it is and what you do if you get a sticky roller like this if the stamp does go wrong, you just wipe it off and, and you can just start again. And then what I do then is put a top coat on that. And um, sometimes before I put a couple of Swarovski crystals on there, which I'm going to do next. And I get these from Blue Streak crystals online. Really cool. So um, I'm going to pop some of these on now. And I use a special um, UV glue for those, which you can get from Crystal Nails. I tried this one from eBay as well, which is okay. And uh, yeah, that's how I do it. And I'll pop a picture on to show you what they look like finished in a sec. Hope that helps. Bye.